back Toronto's Trump Tower was touted as a glamorous investment when it first opened its doors. More than a year later, though, only 50% of the units are occupied. All right, so now some owners say they want to sell and they are taking drastic measures to do just that. Shannon Martin is joining us live from the CBC rooftop tonight. She's among the Toronto skyline of condos. And Shannon, why is this one particular owner skipping the traditional resale route? Well, Anne-Marie, we know the condo market here is fiercely competitive. All the cranes that you sort of alluded to behind me are certainly an illustration of that. So this one man who is remaining anonymous at this moment has decided to take drastic action. He's putting his million-dollar condo on the auction block. It's a room with a million-dollar view, about $1.6 in fact, and it could be yours for a bargain deal. The bidding may start under a million dollars. Uh, in fact, it could go for a lot less. Far less because the owner is looking to unload the unit quickly, taking the unusual step of putting it up for auction. The condo sits on the 12th floor of Trump Tower with every luxury you could possibly desire. This is one of their deluxe suites. It's 900 square feet plus. Kashif Khan is in charge of the auction. The owner considered selling the traditional way, but there's already about a dozen Trump condo units on MLS. There's no point listing it because there's so many that are listed and just sitting there. Nobody really knows what they're worth until one sells. So the auction will really determine what the price is. One, two, three. Trump Towers was touted as a glamorous investment. The Donalds himself even on hand when it opened in April 2012. It's rare to have a building that has 50 or 60 or 70 million dollar plus units. This realtor says typically a new condo building only has a handful of luxury units that do sell right away. Trump condos will sell, he says. It'll just take some time. For a city like Toronto to have four five-star uh, five hotels completely within three or four years of each other, that didn't happen in New York, didn't happen in Paris, didn't happen in Tokyo or Shanghai or any place. It happened in Toronto. It's a lot to digest. The owner of the condo is also auctioning off millions of dollars worth of rare watches, diamond rings, and even a Fabergé egg. Just in case. You may have noticed that we didn't get inside the condo building. That's because management at the Trump Tower wouldn't let us in. The auctioneer also wanted to start showing the unit today. So far, he's been prevented from doing that. If you're interested in the condo or perhaps any of that jewelry we just saw, the auction goes this Sunday at 11 at Richie's Auctioneering. Yeah, as soon as I win the lottery, I'm going to call them up. Thanks, Shannon. <laughs>